The example that you see here is one of the examples that I covered in T's Math Live session number nine. I covered this example as well as several others where the focus was on comparing proportions to dimensional analysis. Both methods were covered in that live session, but I want to cover dimensional analysis again here to motivate you to learn this technique as it can be far more beneficial in my opinion as compared to proportions in certain problems. So with dimensional analysis, a key indicator, when you're trying to find how many or how much or how long, the keyword how, that is an indicator that you probably can use dimensional analysis. And not only is the word how an indicator, but I want you to notice that we're comparing multiple things. I use the word things because it can be different things in different problems. In this case here, we're talking about pancakes, cups, and boxes. Remember those three things. How do we handle them? In this case, our goal is to find how many boxes. So for my first fraction in dimensional analysis, I'm going to put the word box at the top. And if we look back in our problem, it says a box of flour contains five cups of flour. What this means is one box contains five cups. Our goal is boxes. We started off with boxes at the top of our first fraction, and our problem says a box, one box, contains five cups. So we need to get rid of the word cups. Let's put cups at the top of our next fraction, and if we look back at our problem, we do see that three cups of flour, it will make eight pancakes. We got rid of cups, now we need to get rid of pancakes. The only word we want left is the word box or boxes. So notice we have something else talking about pancakes in our problem. We need to make 120 pancakes. We're gonna put this over one where one is a placeholder, but it really means the one big old order of pancakes that you're gonna make. And now we've gotten rid of pancakes. The only word, the only thing that we have left is the word box. Let's multiply all of our top numbers and let's divide by all of our bottom numbers all at one time and we get an answer of nine boxes. So make sure to check out live session number nine. Several examples to practice there, both proportions and dimensional analysis. And also check out becraftmath.com slash math for even more videos. And then lastly, app.becraftmath.com where you can find question banks, both free demos and full question banks, workbooks, and more. Everything you need for the math portion of the T7.